Hello students, welcome to Royson Creations YouTube channel. In this video, let us analyze the state level SSLC preparatory examination 2022 science subject published by KACB. Many students use the answer in English medium. So, in this video, I am explaining the science subject in English medium. So, here in the science, you have three parts, part A, part B, part C, physics, chemistry and biology. First one is I am going to explain physics. First main, choose the correct option. Here three questions will be there. So, each question carry one mark. First question, the material used in the filament of an electric bulb, option A, sodium, option B, copper, option C, tungsten, option D, aluminium. So, here in the electric bulb, we are using the filament is tungsten. So, the option C, tungsten is the correct answer. Second question, in Fleming right hand rule, the forefinger indicates the direction of option E, motion of the conductor, option B, magnetic field, option C, induced electric current, option D, electric field. So, you know the uh, Fleming right hand rule. So, in that, Four finger always will show the magnetic field. So, the answer option B magnetic field is the right answer. Third question, the power of a lens with 1 meter focal length is option A 1 diopter, option B 1 volt, option C 1 centimeter and option D 1 volt. So, the power of a lens with 1 meter focal length is 1 diopter. So, option A is the correct answer. Second mean, Answer the following questions. Here two questions are there. So each question carry one mark. Fourth question. Which mirror is used as a rear view mirror in the vehicle? So in the rear view mirror, always we are using convex mirror. Because when the object is coming near to the vehicle, the object will looks very big. So we are using always convex mirror in the vehicle. Fifth question, mention the nature of the image formed when the magnification of the image of an object formed by a spherical mirror has negative value. So, the answer is real and inverted. Why? Because it is a negative value in the spherical mirror when the object is formed by a spherical mirror, it got negative value means always real and inverted. If the value got positive it will become a virtual and a erected so they asked uh, the value is negative so the answer is real and a inverted third mean answer the following questions here three questions will be there so each question carry two two marks sixth question an electric refrigerator rated 500 500 watt operates eight hours a day what is the cost of the energy to operate it for 30 days at rupees 5 per 1 kilowatt hour? So, you understand the question. An electric refrigerator rated 500 watt if it is operated for 8 hours a day. Per day, 8 hours is working, refrigerator is working in 8 hours. So, how much is rated? 500 watt. So, you write the power. Power of the refrigerator they have given that is 500 watt. How much time it's working? 8 hours. So, we have formula energy is equals to power into time. So, 500 into 8 will become 4000 watt. As watt. So, 4000 watt is nothing but 4 kilo watt. So, the total how much is working? 4 kilo watt. So, what the question? The total energy consumed by the refrigerator in 30 days. So, we should find out for 30 days. Now, I have calculated for one day. How much is we using? 4 kilowatt hour is working. Hour is using. So, for 30 days, 4 into 30 will become 120 kilowatt hour. So, the total energy consumed for one month is 120 kilowatt per hour. So, the cost of 1 kilowatt they have given that is 5 rupees. So, we have to find out the cost of 120 kilowatt per hour. So, that will become 120 into 5. So, therefore, it will become 600. So, totally rupees 600 is the cost of the energy is operated for 30 days. So, like that, if you will solve, you will get a 2 marks. Seventh question, draw the diagram of a simple electric motor and label the 
brushes so i have explained in the passing package also and many times i told you how to concentrate on diagrams because diagrams will carry 16 marks from physics chemistry and bio so you have to concentrate on diagram as well as label the parts so parts also is very very important here they asked electric motor and also they asked label the brushes so i have given the figure so you have to learn eighth question state the laws of reflection of light so here we have two laws of reflection very very e easy and it is the basic laws of reflection of light the first one is the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and the second one is the incidentary normal to the mirror at the point of the incidence and the reflected ray all lie on lie in the same plane so incidentary and reflected ray and normal it is all lying on the same plane so these two laws if you will write you will get a two marks so the next one is fourth main answer the following questions here three questions will be there so each question carry one mark three marks sir ninth question mention the function of following devices so they have given the three devices so you have to write the function which are the devices they have given electric fuse galvanometer and electric generator first one electric fuse so electric fuse it protects circuits and appliances by stopping the flow of an undual high electric current because it is acts like a safety safety guard for the electric appliances and also circuit why because if the excess of electric current that means high electric current is flowing on the circuit it damages the appliances and also it causes short circuit and it may catch as fire also so electric fuses immediately when the high old high electric current is passed through the electric fuse it will start to melt so when it will melt it cut down the circuit and also there is no damages for the electric appliances so electric fuse is acts, uh, acts as a like a safety guard for the electric appliances and also for the circuits galvanometer so galvanometer it is one of the device it used to detect the presence of current in the circuit whether the current is present in the circuit or not so for that purpose they are using galvanometer electric generator it is also one of the device it converts mechanical energy into electrical energy so if you are written three points that's enough you will get a three mark so here also you have two option whether you can write that question or you can write this question a question list the characteristics of field lines so here i have given four point field lines arises from north pole and end into south pole of the magnet so you know very well so it will be arise from north pole to south pole and the field lines are closed curves they are not open they are closed curves and field lines are closers in stronger magnetic field and field lines are never intersecting each other they are not at all intersecting each each other and field lines are stronger in the poles in both the poles north and south poles so these points if you will write you will get the two marks so here another question what is solenoid so solenoid means a coil of many circular turns of insulated copper wire wrapped closely in the shape of a cylinder is called solenoid so for that one marks and for the field lines characteristics you will get the two marks 10th question draw the ray diagram of image formed when the object is kept between f1 and 2f1 of the convex lens with the help of a diagram mention the position and nature of the image formed so f1 is principal focus of the lens so here i have drawn the ray diagram is very very important because they will ask for three marks in your final exam also the same question will be there only the ray diagram they may ask convex lens or they may ask concave lens but you have to learn the ray diagram and along with you should know the position of the ray uh, 
image and also nature of the image. So, here what the figure they have given uh, for that you can see the position where the image is formed. The image is formed beyond 2F2 and the nature of the image is real and inverted. So, if you will write you will get 3 marks for diagram 1 marks and for position and nature you will get uh, 2 marks. 11th question what is biomass? What are the advantages of using the biogas? So, biomass means is nothing but cow dung and various plants materials like residue after harvesting the crop, vegetable waste and sewage are decomposed in the absence of oxygen to give biogas. This is only we call as the biomass. So, what are the advantages of biogas means? Biogas is an excellent fuel as it contains up to 75% of methane. It is an excellent fuel. So, it contains 75% of methane and it burns without smoke and leaves no residue like ash in wood, charcoal and coal burning. It burns without smoke. So, there is smoke, no smoke and therefore, it, uh, it does not make any pollution. So, the third one is the slurry left behind is removed periodically and used as an excellent manure. So, what the slurry left in the biogas that is used as a manure. It is very, very good for the to in the agriculture. And this is one of the renewable source of energy. It is not a non-renewable. It is one of the renewable source of energy. So, these are all the advantages of biogases. Fifth main. Answer the following questions here. Only two questions will be there. So, each question carry two to marks. Twelfth question. State Ohm's law. Mention the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends. So, first we have to state the Ohm's law. So, potential difference across the ends of the metallic conductor is directly proportional to current passing through the circuit provided at that temperature remains same. So, when the temperature is same, potential difference is directly proportional to the current passing through the circuit. So, this is the formula. So, V is directly proportional to I. So, V is directly proportional to R I. So, this is the Ohm's law. So, factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends on, it directly proportional to length of the conductor Second one inversely proportional to the area of the cross section and it depends on the nature of the material. So, these points is enough you will get the marks. Question B. The potential differences between the terminals of an electric heater is 60 volt. When it draws a current of 4 amps from the source that current will be the heater drawn if the potential difference is increased to 120 volt. So, here you understand the question. Here they have given the voltage potential difference between the two terminals of an heater that is V equal to 60 volt and the how much current is flowing on that also they have given that is high is equals to 4 amps. So, I am applying Ohm's law. So, R equal to V by I. So, 60 by 4 then it will become 15. Ohm. So, the resistance is 15 ohm and when the potential difference increased to 120 volt. So, here when the potential difference is 60 volt, I got it 15 ohm that is the resistance. So, when the potential difference is increased to 120 volt, so the current high equal to V by R. So, 120 divided by 15, so is equal to 8 amps. So, understand when the potential difference is 60 volt, current is 4 amps. So, when the potential difference is increased to 120 volt, so we do not know the resistance. So, I got resistance 15 ohms, therefore I equal to V by R. So, 120 divided by 15 that is equals to 8 amps. So, therefore the current through the heater becomes 8 amps. So, here also we have two question. Option will be there. Question number A. State Joule's law of heating. So, it states that the heat produced in a resistor is directly proportional to square of current, directly proportional to resistance for a given current 
and directly proportional to time for which current flows through the conductor that means h is equal to i square rt this is the law of joule's law of heating so you will get one marks if you will write like that the second one b question an electric bulb is connected to a 220 volt generator the current is 2 amps find the power and resistance of the bulb so what are the data they have given you have to list so they have given volt potential difference v is equals to 220 volt and i is equal to 2 amps so they asked to find power and also resistance of the bulb so power is equals to v into high so 220 into i is equal to 440 watt so resistance is equals to v divided by high so 220 divided by 2 that is equals to 110 ohm 13th question in that a question find the focal length of a convex mirror that has the radius of curvature 32 centimeter so here they have given radius 32 centimeter and we should find out focal length that means f we have to calculate so we know the relationship between f and r that is r is equals to 2f so f is equals to r divided by 2 therefore 32 divided by 2 is equal to 16 centimeter so the focal length of a convex mirror is 16 centimeter question number b an object 4 centimeter in height is placed at 25 centimeter in front of a concave mirror a focal length 15 centimeter at what distance from the mirror should be placed in order to obtain a sharp image write the nature of the image formed so here they have given object size they have given so that is object 4 centimeter in height that means h is equals to 4 centimeter and object distance they have given so u is equals to minus 20.0 centimeter and focal length they have given that is 15 centimeter so f is equals to minus 15 centimeter so image distance we have to calculate v and also image size h dash is also we have to calculate so you write the formula 1 by v plus 1 by u equal to 1 by f so we have to calculate v therefore 1 by v equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u so therefore 1 by v equal to f value minus 15 and u value minus 25 so 1 by minus 15 minus 1 divided by minus 25 is equal to i am taking the lcm so when i am taking lcm it will become 75 so minus 5 plus 3 so therefore minus 5 plus 3 it will become minus 2 you will get a doubt why it will become minus because here minus 15 is there here minus is so minus into minus if you will do it what happened it will become plus so i have, I have removed here minus so because plus minus into minus it will become plus so 1 divided by minus 15 plus 1 divided by 25 therefore minus 5 plus 3 so minus 2 divided by 75 therefore v equal to minus 37.5 centimeter therefore the screen should be placed at 37.5 centimeter in front of the mirror so the image is real so here magnification we have to calculate so h dash divided by h that means nothing but minus v by u so therefore h dash is equals to vh divided by u so therefore minus 37.5 into 4 divided by minus 25 that is equals to minus 6 centimeter therefore the image is inverted and enlarged so like that if you will solve all problem you will get totally 4 marks so thank you for watching this video and the remaining question I will analyze in the next video.